Hello guys, if you have a carpet like that installed uh, across the door frame and you need to run the wire or maybe two of course you don't want them just to lay like that you can trip off them and fell off, fell but uh, there is a way to hide those wires and I will show you that in a moment as you can see, the end of my carpet have a liner. This is a metal liner. They come all, all kind of different ones. They have a wooden one. Um, they have a one that going on top of it. This one is corner one and the carpet going inside of it. And basically, when you finish and installing your carpet, you have to uh, hammer it down a little bit because it's gonna stick out too much and when you step on it you actually will feel the sharp corner so for to remove the carpet on the on on the, over here you need to grab a screwdriver or something wider than that and just gently pull little bit by little bit hole across the door As you can see, I pull a liner all the way across, and I already start to uh, pull, pe peeling a carpet a little bit. And then you just gently peel your carpet all the way, all the way across, and you have to actually peel all the way over here, so carpet will go go out a little bit from the corners let's go ahead and do that okay when you uh, peel the carpet as you can see I got the carpet a little bit out even uh, on this side as well I actually want to uh, hide my wires in the groove down there right under uh, you see there is a groove down there that's where I will try to hide my wires and I hope two of them will fit there um, I will have a access of um, um, carpet a little bit on the corner but I'm gonna go ahead and also cut it with the um, scissor just a little bit or with my razor razor knife and as you can see I just um, hide my wires in that little piece uh, the little corner I would say and you can see also my carpet a little bit sticking out and all, it's only because the wires actually didn't fit in that groove and let me go ahead and pull the carpet and, and, and show it to you and you also you see that piece actually is not attached to a, to a nail board only because Two wires there sits higher than the board itself but you can always find uh, you can either cut the groove in or if you have only one wire that go and cross the wall you will you actually will be able to uh, fit in there especially one is like a the phone wire which is like really thin but I have a HDMI wire here and uh, also a regular cable TV wire so they're really thick but I don't need, in that little corner, I don't need that carpet to be um, tight, um, to have a grip from, from the board at all, from the nail board. So I just leave it, I leave it just like that. And as you can see, you can't, you can't see, uh, you can't see wires anymore. And also, um, the, the also as you as you see uh, tightness of uh, the carpet is there is the carpet actually not tight anymore but it's not a big of a deal as well because the whole carpet is tied all the way in the end of uh, this wall so you're not gonna have any problem with uh, peeling the carpet um, while you're walking on it but anyway we need to continue and uh, hide the wire and what I'm gonna do you have a uh, two options in the corner 
You can either hide these wires all the way under uh, the frame if you have a, if you have enough room and put the wire across the liner to another end of the frame and maybe like leave them over here and go down but <clears throat> in my case I didn't want to do it because my two thick wires they will not fit under the other knees I already checked that and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cut the foam and laying my two wires right in that foam so you're not gonna feel the wires when you walk maybe just a little bit because if you will not fit them in the foam and you lay in the carpet your carpet gonna stick stick out like that and every time you walk on it you will feel the wires you will not feel them when uh, when your wires will be in the groove between uh, the foaming pad so let me go ahead and cut the groove okay I just cut the groove with a uh, with just a blade knife um, you can cut it with the scissors but it's gonna be a little complicated so I cut the groove all the way through the door and uh, now we just need to stick the wires just laying the wire all the way across and now also I will hide the wires down there as well because I have I have exactly the same uh, corner approximately a four inch on another on another side as well I'll hide I will hide them as well the same way so you not be able to see the wiring let me go ahead and do that okay when you are done all this and you're ready to install your carpet and attach to uh, the liner back like it was uh, the problem is when those liners are installing they hammer it down after they're done and what happened there is a little nails here as you can see some of them actually went all the way in and what you need to do just grab you a sharp flat screwdriver I sharp it mine just a little bit and try to uh, and just try to get all get them back just like that as many of them as you can let me go ahead and do that when you've done this now you're ready to install your carpet and uh, before do this you see all those little pieces like this they all round on the side as well go ahead and cut them with uh, either with your resin blade or uh, I, I'm gonna do them with my scissors the carpet was tight and installed with a special tool it's called a puller carpet puller um, they are about 20 bucks I think you can get them in Harbor Freight for cheaper than that but to install just cross the door honestly you don't really need that that puller there's something you need to use that puller um, to install against the whole wall but here I'm just gonna use my hands and the way how you do it unfortunately I cannot do it at the same time I'm, I'm, I'm recording because you have to use two hands you pull this carpet against you uh, and at the same time you're trying to uh, attach the carpet so the underneath of the carpet I mean I already can feel is, is grabbing underneath the carpet those nails they will grip 
the bottom and after you will done all this cross the cross the door you just have to hammer it down with a hammer okay I just done tighten my carpet and you have to be careful when you are pulling the carpet and applying with your finger the nails actually can go through the carpet and you can uh, you can have some blood coming out from your finger so you don't really want to do that just be careful when you're doing this and as you can see those little carpet pieces sticking out that's not the problem you can use a patch knife I'm using this and as remember we pull we pull this liner so you just stick them inside you can cut excess and you just do like this all the way across and then we just hammer it down over here in the corners as you can see it's spilled as well that's not a problem you grab the same thing or your patching knife and you're trying to stick this carpet underneath of the frame so it will look nice and tight you see how nice it look already then we just need to do vacuum cleaning after we'll be done let me go and finish that and I will show you the result and as you can see just finished everything pretty much only what's left is to hammer down that liner and you can use your rubber hammer or you can use just regular hammer Make sure after you done this you have to nail you have to hit those uh, the corners over here so the nail will bend and they will grip the carpet even even more and also when you uh, hammer it down uh, your liner don't overdo it because it's supposed to have a little uh, round shape otherwise you can actually broke the liner and actually for for the corners like that I'm gonna use my plastic or I can just go gonna go and use the rubber one on the corners Okay guys, that's pretty much that's it. Now you have a two wires hiding under the, under the carpet and it's look really nice like they're not even there. Now if you're renting, you always can pull them same way and just reattach the carpet. Um, the whole job took me about five minutes. If you have any questions, please put the comment, I'll be glad to answer them, and always thank you for watching.